Hey guys, it's Holly here with Lola Beauty Plus. I just wanted to do a quick video today on the look that I am wearing. I'm calling it a galaxy inspired look. Can't um, tell. Um, the lighting is not very good in this room today. Um, but it is a black base with um, very um, colorful glitter on top of the base um, and then using a glitter liner um, I finished off the look. Thank you guys for being patient with me. Um, I was out of town for the week um, last week. Um, I was with my family. Um, a couple events were going on and I had to be there um, one including my sister's eighth grade graduation um, and uh, I wanted to do her hair and makeup and just be there um, generally just because she is my baby and I know she's um, already grown but she's still always going to be my little baby. Um, congratulations to her and um, to all her fellow classmates that did graduate. Um, it was the last graduating class because that was one of the schools that will be closing in the Chicago area. Um, sad but it was a it was a very uplifting and happy event so we didn't want to um, overshadow it with um, the facts but um sh I'm glad she um, liked the way her look came out and she looked very beautiful so very proud of her and I can't wait to go to her high school and college graduation so before I ramble on and on I would like to um, show you guys how I got this look first things first um, as a base I use the Too Faced shadow shirts um, if you don't know what this is you can uh, look it up I'll have the link below um, and I'm going to use as the color base this e.l.f. cream eyeliner in black. I'm just going to screw it. You can also use uh, one of the NYX um, jumbo pencils. I think it's called Black Bean. Um, and I'm just going to use a concealer brush by e.l.f. Studio concealer brush. And um, just pat that along on top of the eyelid uh, just taking it close to the crease not above the crease um, so that's what I'm going to do you're going to take it on the lower lash line Um, this is a very overpowering color to get out of your brushes, so if you want to use the same brush, that's perfectly fine. That's what I did. Just make sure you got full coverage on this black color. Once you think you have the desired coverage, um, again, I, like I said, you want to make sure it's on there pretty thick. Um, you don't want it translucent. You want a pretty solid black color. Um, you're gonna use your finger well I use my finger you can use a brush like a smudge brush but um, you can you're gonna use your finger to kind of uh, shade the color um, blend it between um, since I use concealer to do my um, my eyebrows you are I already have sort of a highlight color um, underneath the eyebrow so that'll blend pretty well with this uh, black. So you're just going to take your finger and kind of blend out the color. Once you find that you have a solid uh, black base and it's smudged out as much as you'd like, you can go in and start with the colors. Um, for this look, I'm using the NYX um, Loose Pearl Shadows. 
um, I'll have the exact colors um, in, in links below because I since I depotted these um, I don't have the exact colors but there's like a blue color a green and then this white pearl color and um, I'm just gonna take a small detail brush the one I use often and I'm gonna start with the blue color I'm just gonna take it and sporadically place it on my eyelid um, in small sections just to get like that galaxy effect kind of scattered um, so just watch what I'm doing and then you can do it however you want to and then you're gonna want to repeat that on the bottom as well obviously it's not going to show at, up as much on the bottom because it's a small area you can extend the black as far as you'd like to create a more dramatic um, lower lash line but I'm not going to do that I just want the main focus to be the um, eyelid one with the green and the same brush and just place it in different sections you can overlap the blue color if you'd like um, or you can just place it in different sections of the eyelid I'm going to do kind of both and kind of just pat on now it's not all going to stay because um, all we have is the black base you can use like a glitter they have like glitter liquid where you, you know it kind of um, creates a foundation for the glitter to stick on or um, I think you can use like a Vaseline or something to kind of help with that but it's gonna be extra shiny um, so if you want that go ahead by all means do that and I'm gonna go in with the white color now and do the same thing just place this sporadically and for the white color I'm actually gonna take it in the corner of my eye to create some um, a highlight It is a messy look, um, so you know you can make a mess, but there's always uh, makeup remover and stuff like that to help with that. If you do do something that you don't like the look of, and then now I'm gonna take it around the eye, the eyelid, and just kind of pat it in areas. Once you put the um, the glitter, which I will show you, it's going to kind of all come together. A larger brush, um, eyeshadow brush, and um, dip it in this Coastal Scents. Um, it's, like, it's called Fairy Dust. It's a little sample sized package of um, glitter particles that are uh, cosmetic safe because if they're too big they're not cosmetic safe. And that's the great thing about Coastal Scents, they, they allow you to get sample sized items. Um, I got this a while back so I'm not sure if they have this exact kind of glitter but you can use any glitter. And then um, get a, a, a small amount but enough that you think it'll cover the whole entire eyelid and then you're just gonna sweep it over everything and this is messy um, and you're gonna take it um, to the end of the smudging of the black so you're gonna have glitter but you can always brush that off your face after you're done I'm gonna take a little more and I'm gonna repeat the process and I'm gonna take it to the lower lash line Again, this is like, um, you're going to have glitter everywhere um, if you don't use like a glitter adhesive. But again, like I said, you can use one and um, just kind of place that on the, over the black though because you need it to, um, the glitter to adhere to it. 
once you're satisfied with the amount of glitter on this look you can stop um, but it's a good thing because you can layer it on as you see fit so So I think it's very similar to the other side of my eye. Um, now um, I'm going to tight line my eye. You can do this or you can skip this step. Um, but um, I do it because I think it goes with a black, um, solid black look. Um, you can use like a white liner or a nude liner to extend your eye on the lower lash line. But I'm just going to tight line my eye. Once you're satisfied with the way you tie in your eye, um, you can go in with a liner. Uh, for the purposes of this look, I'm using a black glitter liner by NYX, crystal liner by NYX in Crystal Onyx. And then I'm just going to take this, uh, you know, across the eyelid. Um, not anything dramatic, but you can use the eyeliner as you wish. Um, if you want a dramatic cat eye, then you can do that. Um, but for this, I'm just going to do a line across and then a little bit of a swoop at the end. I think it goes really well with this look being that it's a um, glitter black eyeliner. Okay, once you're done with that, you can use your mascara um, or you can put on falsies. Um, typically, I don't put on false eyelashes uh, just because it's not part of my daily look um, or it's not something that I do very, wear very often unless it's like a really, really special occasion. So I'm just going to use the Voluminous False Fiber Lashes and uh, put my mascara on. So thank you guys for watching and seeing how I got this look. I hope you liked it and I hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you guys for subscribing. I know I reached over 200 subscribers recently and I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, keep watching because I will be posting uh, videos. Um, I will be doing another video this week, at least one more video. I'm not sure when, but um, stay tuned because I will be posting more. Until next time, bye.